This is one area where practice in front of a mirror will come in handy, since performance is nearly as important as the words themselves. It's like playing on battle rap. Here are a few of the most common curses. Repeat each one with as much power and style as you can project. Go mate with your targ. Oh. Tarchlij yanach yruch. Tarchlij yanach yruch. Tarchlij yanach yruch. Your face looks like a collapsed star. Oh. Bochov nur kablij. Dej put bochov nur kablij. Shut the door, kablij. Your Targ has a bigger brain than all your ancestors put together. Are they really down on Targs? Was I supposed to get a workbook or something? <laughs> you belong in a black hole in the netherworld. Oh. See, these aren't funny. These are just hurtful. You are a total waste of good energy. And the most insulting curse of all. Oh, here we go. Your mother has a smooth forehead. <laughs> That's just cold. You're gonna get stabbed. Word for forehead correctly. It is kuch. The sound at the beginning is a noisy one, made as far back in your throat as you can go. If you don't say it right, you may end up saying kuch instead of kuch. And then you'd be talking about money instead of a forehead. If you ever do engage in a bout of Klingon curse warfare, just remember that it is not personal and should be kept on a purely verbal basis. Unless, of course, you actually like physical contact and are good at it, <laughs> which is beyond the scope of this tape. That's the second set. Now, we will take a quick break. Okay. Look, Mayev. Stop breaking. We have seen how you can assert yourself positively by some overt display of the dominant dialect or by demonstrating allegiance to the ideals of behavior. But you can also damage yourself irreparably if you fail to decisively correct some social mistake. This is where knowledge of the replacement proverbs is handy. The exact origin of the term replacement proverbs is obscure, but it apparently has to do with the use of the proverbs to replace lost respect with newly earned respect after one has been embarrassed in a public setting. See, this is it important because I get embarrassed a lot. Proverb you use in any given embarrassing situation. All of the proverbs relate to the restoration of credibility, and so are used interchangeably in many different situations. Suppose you are a guest at a state dinner. Okay. It is after the toasting and first round of drinking. After the first course of gah. The entree of slimy tongue balls is being served. Tongue balls? All the way to your mouth, three tongue balls slip out of your fingers and hit the floor with loud splats. Yeah, I know how to handle my tongue balls, okay? Heads turn toward you in eager anticipation, thinking that a food fight has begun. But they discover it is simply a bumbling Terran making a premature mess. You have to recover, or your reputation will not be worth a photon in a solar wind. My balls are greasy, what? what? Can you do? According to Klingon custom, you must issue a proverb that allows you to regain your respect. Or you're dead! You grab the fallen food in your hands, stand up, and loudly say one or more of the following replacement proverbs. Set fire on the side when there is danger. Duck, duck, pour your chin moth. Hold it, hook. That doesn't make any sense. Pour your chin moth. Hold it, hook. Okay, I'm not using that one. That wasn't very convincing. Try it again. 
this time with more authority. This is harder than I thought. I'm gonna get my ass kicked on Kronos. This means that you have deliberately staged a diversion. Or at least you can shield your honor with such a pretense. Or you could say, To defeat the enemy, be ready to fight alone. Here are some others. A great warrior is always prepared. What does that have to do with dropping my balls? The fire is always hotter on someone else's face. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Only fools laugh while warriors die. I'm going to need to go to Klingon language camp. I mean, that's it. And this final proverb refers to a Klingon devil-like creature known as the Fekler. The Fekler strikes again. You buy it? You will know your credibility has been restored if the host and other guests resume eating as if nothing had ever happened. Okay. If the silence and staring continue, you have failed to regain control of the situation. You should kill yourself immediately. If you have failed, word will spread, and from that point on, you are a tourist and should consider booking passage home. Because I dropped my fucking spaghetti? The biggest personal holiday in the life of any young Klingon is, of course, the coming-of-age ceremony, called the Rite of Ascension, or the Nintai. It takes place in the seventh month of the young Klingon's 15th year. If you are fortunate enough to be invited to a Nintai, it is best to look over Dr. Leopold Miklik's book on the subject beforehand. Available on Some Amazon. Some rituals might seem unusual to a Terran, such as the use of Klingon pain sticks as a spiritual test. I do that all but the time. you will probably want to attend the ceremony, since your presence will indicate you are a trustworthy Terran. To reinforce your position and impress your host, you should know some of the ceremonial phrases that are extended to his or her newly adult Klingon offspring. For a Klingon who's been through the Rite of Ascension, stand at attention, touch your left shoulder with your right hand, and then quickly make it into a fist in front of your chest. This should all be in one motion. You then say the following, which means, Today you are a warrior. Here are a couple of other phrases you might also use. May you travel the river of blood. This is exactly like a Klingon bar mitzvah. You Except must show your heart. Without the pain sticks. Unless you're worth the ducks. May the bile of the vanquished fill your hands. My god, man! Let's just get back to the Feckler, okay? I got the whole cursing contest good. thing pretty good. Much. And do not forget to bring some kind of weapon as a present for the new adult. Now, take a short pause. Lokhoyev! Lokhoyev! Stop pausing. <laughs> You've barely given me a chance to process the this shit, man! coming of age ceremony in any part of the galaxy is the mating ritual. 
All right. Except, of course, for one species reported to live in the Beta Quadrant who mate with themselves anytime they want. <laughs>